Alrighty, guys, gals, non-binary pals, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today, we have a very important video, maybe the most important video I've ever made. We are going to be ranking, in a tier list, low-calorie ice creams. A lot of us that have lost a lot of weight or that are trying to lose a lot of weight, we like ice cream. And so, there are a lot of companies that have made low-calorie ice creams. Some of them good, some of them shouldn't exist, in my opinion. But that's, that's fine. Now, there's a little bit of a twist. When I say we, I do mean we because I am recording this live on Twitch and Twitch is going to be helping me, my Twitch chat is going to be helping me rank some of these ice creams, especially the ones that I haven't tried myself. And so if you want to join, please feel free to come by and join us while I'm live. I stream every single weekday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So if you are ever bored and you want to come join us, please do. Alrighty, let's get right into the tier list. So if you have never done it, or if you've never watched a video about a tier list, basically S, best, D, worst, and then you rank them through there. All right. So the first one that we are going to be starting with is Halo Top. Now, this is the reason that we're starting with Halo Top is because I feel like it is the most widely known low calorie ice cream out there. Now, I also have the macros for all of these ice creams as well. And I have had many Halo Tops. Again, we're not going to be ranking the flavors that you see here because that would take forever. We're going to be just ranking in and of itself. How does it taste? The texture? You know, is it more? Is it actually ice cream or is it really something else? Things like that, right? And macros will play a part. So if we look at the Halo Top macros here, uh, let me open this. All right. So if we look at... The Halo Top macros, we see that it has, again, these aren't going to be perfect, but it has two grams of fat, but that's per, that's per serving. So let's look at, you know, the full carton. So seven grams of fat, you end up getting, I think, what is that, 60, 64 grams of carbs, and you have about 20 grams of protein. All right, so a protein ice cream, I guess you could call it that. Now, this might be a controversial take. But for me personally, Halo Top is B. Halo Top is B tier, all right? It's not that great, but it's not bad. But I have had many, 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 many better low-calorie ice creams than Halo Top, for me personally. Now, people in chat are saying I'm wrong, and they are also wrong, right? So, like, the chat can chime in if they want. But they just understand if they're disagreeing with me, they're clearly wrong, you know? Um, all right. So, moving on. <laughs> moving on. So, going from medium, right? We are going to go to... Now, this might be a controversial opinion. Arctic Zero. All righty. Arctic Zero, if you guys remember, they were actually one of, if not the first in the scene of low calorie ice creams so they have actually had a few rebrands um i'm gonna be honest i haven't had arctic zero in a while but let's look at their macros and let's see how the macros are because back in the day they were really really good and so we see the macros here this is for this is per serving so you would probably add uh i think it's three or four servings per container but it has 1.5 grams of fat you have 15 grams of carbs and 2 grams of protein for Halo Top, right? Again, these are all estimations because all flavors are a little bit different. So, hey, Ar Ar Halo Top, Ar Arctic Zero. So, for me, Arctic Zero, D tier. If there was a lower tier, that's where it would go. This stuff is disgusting, all right? I don't care if it's better now. My memories of this stuff it has scarred me for the rest of my life. I can never eat this. It tasted like ice that had a sprinkle of chocolate, maybe one drop, and then they mixed it together. This stuff is... Absolutely disgusting. The texture, terrible. I don't know if it's better now, but I will never try it again because the memories that I have of this stuff are, it's, it's, I, when people say low calorie ice cream is gross, this is why they say that, okay? Arctic Zero is the reason that so many people say, oh, low calorie ice cream is disgusting and no one should eat it, all right? So I just want to put it out there. Arctic Zero, garbage tier if there was a lower tier than d if there was an l tier that's where it would go all righty okay moving on uh we are going to let's let's try one that i haven't had myself very much of okay and we're gonna let chat 
decide as we as we've seen they're uh, a lot of times they're kind of wrong but that's okay so we are going to do this cadow cat cadow i don't even know how to pronounce this apparently apparently uh this is made with avocados as well um and so again i've never had it before so if chat can kind of chime in and we are going to get there uh the macros of this uh all situated all right so here we have for one serving one serving one serving and there's four it is 170 calories 17 grams of fat eight 18 grams of carbs and one gram of protein again that's times four for the whole container all right chat what do y'all think has anyone tried it what do you think i like that one actually the texture is very smooth well i would i would hope so it's also made with avocado good fat that's so great Nasty. <laughs> it doesn't taste of avocado at all. It gives the good texture. The chocolate one is pretty good. Macarolones are like C or D tier. I haven't tried it, uh, but I feel it would be tasty. Okay, again, I'm sure it would be tasty, but this thing is almost as many calories as just regular ice cream. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we are going to put this in C tier because honestly I just don't know where else to put it. All righty, moving on. We are going to go to Enlightened. Now Enlightened, I feel like this is the most this can be compared the most to Halo Top, all right? Enlightened very similar, a lot of like the marketing, the way that they used influencers to kind of make it popular. Um, you can find it in a lot of the same stores. Um, Enlightened, very, very similar. Right, so let's look at the Enlightened macros. Again, it's not going to be perfect, but this is for peanut butter cookie and brownie dough. That sounds really good, actually. So per container, 740 calories. Yo, that's a lot for, for Enlightened. That's kind of gnarly, actually. Um, man, that's kind of crazy. Uh, so we have 67 grams of fat. Was this like a keto one or something? This must be like one of their keto ones because they make keto ones, which nah, but you know, whatever. 53 grams of carbs and then we have 17 grams of protein. All right. So for me, enlightened personally, Right, we're not talking about the keto ones because I've I have only tried one of those and it wasn't really anything special. But if we're talking about the regular enlightened, that's more in line with Halo Top macro wise and calorie rise, okay? Because that maybe wasn't the best uh, representation because I think that was for a keto one. Uh, I think enlightened tastes way better than Halo Top. I like enlightened a lot more. So that would make me want to put it in S tier, right? But, and this is a very big but, Enlightened, I don't know what is wrong with how you package your stuff or if you just like to lie to people because I have almost never bought a pint of Enlightened that was even close to being full, ever. It is almost always, the, the way that it's frozen is messed up is the way that there's not it doesn't fill up the whole pint right the taste is really good but i feel like i i have to i'm not able hey, to get the full thing already also next is s tier next is s tier we'll get to that but for me personally i can't stand that so this i still think it's better than halo top but it's gonna go in a tier i i really like Enlightened, if I had to choose between uh, if I had to choose between the two, I would choose Enlightened. But it's just it can't be S tier because it's never full to the top. And, you know, again, that's just my opinion. All right. Next up, we are going to be doing the Briars low calorie ice creams. Now I don't have too much 
uh, experience with these. I think chat has had this a little bit more than I have. So let me know, chat, what do you guys think, all right? And I'm going to be opening up the macros of this. So, for a whole pint, you get 350 calories, which is pretty good for a low-calorie ice cream, right? You have 9 grams of fat, you have 67 grams of carbs, and you have 20 grams of protein. So, what does chat think of Breyer's low-calorie ice cream? They do the same thing as the chip companies. Oh, yeah, that's about, yeah. Breyer's is, in fact, frozen dessert. You haven't tried that one? You think it's a B tier? Easy A. I love Briars, but I'm old. I mean, Briars has been around for a long time, right? You like it. All right. So I think with the Briars, from what I've heard, and with the macros are actually not terrible, right? Because a lot of times these low-calorie ice creams, it's like it's not really even that much low calories. Um, we are going to put Briars in B tier. All right? We're going to put Briars in B tier. All right, next up, Ben & Jerry's, another old-school company that has been around for a while. Um, let's see if their low-calorie ice cream really can hold up to the other brands. All righty, so macros. You have 650 per container. The reason I read per container is because if you are eating a pint of ice cream and you don't eat the whole pint, I don't trust you, you're probably a psychopath, okay? Okay. Um, all right, so total fat, we have 21 grams of fat, we have 104 grams of carbs, and we have 17 grams of protein. All righty, so what do y'all think about Ben & Jerry's low-calorie ice cream? 650 calories, what do you believe the taste is? Is it worth the extra, you know, 150 to 200 calories compared to these other brands? Too many calories per container, but low for Ben & Jerry's. I don't like low-cal version. The vegan is great, though. S-tier. Tastes is great. Too many calories. C-tier. I've never had it, but it tastes good since it's um, since it's not as good for you. Dang, C-tiers, huh? Really? You think it's you think it's under... You think the Ben & Jerry's is under Halo Top? Really? Interesting. Interesting. All right, and we have an A tier now too. I don't know, man. I don't. I don't know if I trust y'all. I don't know if I trust y'all. B, but I understand because it's high in calories. I'm sorry, I can't trust y'all. I'm not putting this on the same level as Halo Top. This goes in A tier. All right, A tier. I'm sorry, but this tastes so much better, so much better than Halo Top. It can't. We're not putting it in C. It's not happening, bro. I know I said I was going to listen to chat, but guess what? It's my stream and I do what I want. <laughs> All right. Next up, favorite day. What is that, you might ask? Well, if you're not cultured like me, you might not do your grocery shopping at Target. But guess what? I do. Why? Because it's literally the closest place and I'm very lazy. All right? So favorite day is the low-calorie ice cream of Target. It used to be called something else, but now it's called Favorite Day. All right, here are the macros for Favorite Day ice cream. I think this is the chocolate peanut butter one. It's actually, this personally is my least favorite flavor. The best f flavor of uh, the Favorite Day is they have a mint, like cookie dough, is very good. If you don't like mint, I understand. Uh, it's not super minty, actually, but you know, that's besides the point. Okay, macros, 380 calories. We have 5 grams of fat. We have 19 grams of carbs, and it doesn't show the protein, but I think it's around 20 grams, like similar to um, similar to Halo Top. All right, so the favorite day, S tier. All right, why? Because I like it the most, <laughs> and also I eat it pretty much every single day. This stuff, for, for a brand that is just a, a Target brand, it is fantastic. I highly, highly recommend it. It really is pretty freaking good. And the consistency isn't bad. It's not amazing, but it is It is actually low calorie, right? It's like most of them are 400 or under for the amount of calories that are in it. It doesn't taste bad. The consistency is pretty good. I throw it in the microwave for 15 seconds because I don't like to wait like five minutes. It's too much time. Uh, but that's what I do. S tier, I think it's very, very, very good. All right, next up is going to be Eddie's, Edie's. I, I really don't know uh, what the cor correct pronunciation of this 
is, and I'm going to need chat's help. <laughs> Will I listen to them? I don't know. I really don't know yet. Uh, but here are the macros for Eddie's. All right. Holy crap. That's hard to read. Okay. Uh, three grams of fat. There's 12 servings, but this I don't think this is a pint. All right. We have 20 grams of carbs and two grams of protein. All right. This is for Eddie's, or I think it's also, uh, I think it's the same as, is this the same as Briars, or is it? Isn't it like the same as another company? I don't know. It's a quart. All right, it's not a pint. It's a quart. All right, has anyone tried this? What do y'all think? Let me know. Let me know. He won't listen. What do you mean? I've been listening this whole time. It's just like I, I listen. I might not agree, and then I decide to do something different. But that's not, you know, Dryers. Okay. All right. It doesn't look like anyone's really had this one. All right. So if that's the case, D tier. We're not going to spend too much time on it. All righty. Skinny cow. Skinny cow is the next one that we're going to be using. If you all have never had skinny cow, it, it's they don't really do pints. It's more like little novelty items, you know, like little bars. Um, I don't think I have skinny cow macros, but I think it's because they're all very different. Um, so what do y'all think? Do y'all like the skinny cow? Like the, they have a bunch of different stuff, right? They have like the ice cream sandwiches. They have like, they have like bars. Um, what do y'all think? I've had it B tier. You sent in discord. It's all good. I don't even feel like dealing with that. Um, I like the sandwiches. It seems like it's for suburban moms. <laughs> Skinny cow. I don't know if it deserves anything above A just for the name uh, because skinny cow was a little weird. Uh, I love their ice cream sandwiches. Fudge bar is B tier. Have you ever met a skinny cow? No, that'd be weird C tier. All right. We're getting a lot of C's and B's, so we will put skinny cow in B tier. Why not? Why not? Why not? All right. Coming up next is, I don't even know what this is. What is this? Baskin Robbins? Purple Cow. Oh, this is Purple Cow. Okay. I have never tried this. So I have zero, like, I mean, zero, zero experience with this stuff. Apparently, it's from somewhere else that's not Southern California. So maybe that's why I've never tried it. Uh, but let's look at the macros. I don't know what the, these are for, uh, but it's 130 calories per serving uh serving is 66 grams we have six grams of fat 17 grams of carbs and two grams of protein i hate all brands with skinny in the title it's usually mediocre with a weird name the skinny thing about skinny cows the actual regular ice cream sandwiches are not that high in calories has anyone tried purple cow has anyone tried purple cow in chat let me know. What do you think? I think Purple Cow is Meijner's. Uh, well, I don't even know what that is. Which is in the Midwest. All right. It doesn't look like anyone has tried this. So it's going to go in D tier because we, I know one knows. All right, moving on. We are going to be doing the so delicious dipped whatever. It's another one of the, like the novelty. These are like made with uh, coconut milk, I think is what like their whole shtick is. So what do y'all think? What do y'all think about so delicious dipped cone? Just all of their. Yeah, it's the vegan option, right? If you want if you want some vegan goodness, you got to go with so delicious. What do y'all think? C tier. Interesting. Agree it's for vegans 100%. Well, what do the vegans think? What do the vegans think? So Delicious is okay. I like it. It's creamy. So Delicious is my fave. Oh, no. B tier. Delicious A tier. When I was vegan, it was a godsend. All right, well, is it good? Okay, there's a difference here, right? Was it good or was it good because you didn't have any other options, right? Was it actually good or was it like I can't really have anything else, so this is good to me? 
You know what I'm saying? There's two very different things there. Two very different things there. It's not that good, but when you're vegan, I don't care. <laughs> vegan ice cream is hit or miss. This is a hit. All right. So for all my vegan homies, we'll put this in A tier. Okay? Uh, it's just because I don't want vegans to attack me. All right. Next up, this is another one that I have never tried myself. Sunday Shop. Sunday Shop. Uh, spelt like shoppy with two P's and two E's, I guess. I don't know why people do that, but no, no, it's just two P and one E. All righty. These are the macros for Sunday Shoppy. What the heck? Wait, what's going on here? Are there any macros on here? I don't see any. Um, there's no macros. Okay. No macros for y'all. We don't get any macros. All right. Does anyone, has anyone tried this before? Has anyone tried sh Sunday Shoppy? Sunday Shop is Poverty Halo Top tastes the same for cheap. Oh, okay. So is it more, um, is it more similar macro wise to Halo Top then? I think this is another store brand, but I'm not sure which store. So I can't really help y'all there it's not good well what's not good about it it's from aldi yeah def definitely more similar to halo top sunday shop is okay especially for the price why are we pronouncing shoppy because that's how it's spelled it has an e in it for no reason all right don't be adding extra e's it's not doesn't make you fancy it makes you looks like you can't spell shop okay all right everyone seems to say it's okay it's similar to halo top so we'll just put it here above halo top because screw halo top you know what i'm saying all right next up is yasso Yasso bars. I'm sure a lot of you guys have tried this as well. Let's look at the macros. I think this is for the actual bar that we see in the tier list. Um, so for one, uh, a serving is one bar. So that's not bad. 100 calories per bar. 100 calories per bar, right? And you get two grams of fat per bar, 17 grams of uh, carbs per bar, and I was at five, five grams of protein per bar. What do y'all think about Yasso bars? I think they are a Greek yogurt alternative to, uh, like, you know, having like a Greek yogurt little frozen treat instead of having an ice cream. So you could eat, you know, you could eat four of those and think about this, right? You could have four of these bars and basically have the same amount of calories as, you know, like a Halo Top or an Enlightened. What do y'all think about that? What do y'all think about that? Yasso bars are great. A tier. 420. Nice. Hey. Chill out, alright? North Star fudge sticks are the best. Fight me. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds dirty. What? Yasso is great, but the taste is an absolute best. A tier changed my mind. Uh-oh. S. Those are chocolate chip cookie dough flavor. Very good. Yasso is a nice little treat I like. A tier. Alright. It looks like... It looks like... We are going to be putting this in A tier. I think that that's a fair place for it to go. Alrighty. Last but not least, we have NYX. This is, I think it's like a Swedish or like Swedish type company. Um, they, it's very interesting, right? These are a lot more popular, it seems like, in more in the South. Basically everywhere, it seems like a lot of people have had this that don't live in Southern California. They don't seem to be super popular in SoCal. But... Again, for a whole container, for at least this flavor, 250 calories. Uh, it looks like 16 grams of fat. It looks like 63 grams of carbs and 9 grams of protein. All righty. So this is S tier, top of the – this is top of the charts, y'all. Nick's ice cream, I don't know how they do it. I would not be surprised if Nick's – got into some sort of lawsuit where it was found out that they are adding more calories than they advertise because this stuff is so good. The texture is actually good. Everything else, literally every single other ice cream, and I'm not joking, every single other ice cream that is even remotely close to the amount of calories because there's some ice creams on here that have like double the calories, so of course the texture is good, but like any other ice cream, that is close to the amount of calories that Nick's is. The texture is 
dog water compared to Nick's. It is so smooth. The taste is so good. There are some that have such good chunks and just like swirls. There are some amazing flavors of Nix. I've only ever been able to try it when I go traveling because it's for some reason it's not very um, accessible here in Southern California, at least where I live. I'm not going to order it online. I'm not going to go drive uh, super far for it because I'm just too lazy. I shop at Target because it's close. It's it's really a problem, right? This Nix is the best. If you have the option to get it, I highly recommend grabbing Nix. All right, so that is the tier list. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Again, if you do disagree with me, just understand you're wrong, but you can disagree with me. You just have the wrong opinion, right? What's wrong with you, bro? What the heck? You tripping, bro. You tripping. <laughs> Um, if you agree with chat on certain things and disagree with me, just understand you are in the wrong as well. Alrighty, thank you so much for checking it out, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Dude, y'all, I think I must have messed up senses or taste now because, so, I was chilling at the office, and I just really didn't want to drive. Okay, so what actually was happened was I was, um impaired because i had taken an edible and i wasn't i it wasn't safe to drive so i had to order it online and have someone deliver it to me because i could not drive right and so that's actually why i ordered it uh but i ordered it was the afters ice cream which is like it's like a fancy it was this one right here that one the cookie monster right so i ordered that it was ten dollars which i was like okay i get it right it's like fancy it's like fancy ice cream right when it got delivered right when it got delivered and i checked the receipt you know how much i paid for it just guess guess how much i ended up paying for that stupid pint of ice cream please enlighten me how much do you think it was i paid thirty dollars for a pint of ice cream. I am never, ever, 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 ever doing that again. How? How does that happen? Nah. You know how mad I was eating that ice cream? I was pissed. I was eating it mad. I was angry at the ice cream. Nah. Uh-uh. $30? And you know what else? It wasn't even that good. Yo. For real? I was like, I, yes, it's better, but I was like, the amount of better that it is is so minuscule compared to like the low calorie ice creams. It, it's not even worth it, dude. And then I wake up the next day, I felt like trash, bro. Cause I'm not used to having that much fat and sugar in a meal, right? Like that was, I haven't had a regular pint of ice cream like that in, in literal years. Like I'm not joking, literal years, right? Never doing that again. I learned my lesson. $30 to feel like trash and be pissed off while eating ice cream. Not worth it. Nah. Unbelievable, dude. Never again. Learn my lesson, dude. I'm so mad. I'm so mad right now. I've been I've been holding this in for weeks. All right? All right, like a week. I've been holding this in for like a week. I I couldn't believe it. I could I could not believe it. I looked at the receipt and I said, "How? How, Sway?" How is that? That's they're robbing you at that point. How was it delivery free tip? I let's see thirty dollars and eighteen cents. Yeah. So what happened was I one night I was impaired and so I couldn't drive and so I ordered ice cream thinking wow I'm so smart I'm wow I have great I this is a great idea so total thirty dollars and eighteen cents subtotal ten dollars.